Hi everyone, it's James here from Production Expert and I've got my greasy mitts on a copy of the brand spanking new McDSP 6034 ultimate multiband compressor plugin. And here it is, it's a thing of absolute beauty. It follows a lot of the kind of um, recent design traits, if you like, that McDSP are using with this kind of uh, recreation of uh, should we say 500 series modules? But the 6034 has a few extra goodies that allow us to go into multiband mode. So I'll show you around the GUI quickly. Um, up here, we have the crossover section. So we have four slots for our compressors. We'll come back to that in a second. But we also have three different crossover points for three crossover frequencies. That will all become clear very shortly. We have our meter section, our input and outputs, and our four meters for the four different bands of compression. And over here, we have the different compressors and modules we can populate these four bays with. Now, we add compressors and modules to the bays using this target feature. So if I go down there, hit target one, and I can add different compression modules as we go down. And as we go down the list, they get more aggressive and a bit more brutal. We like that. And I can add to the second bank and the third and the fourth, which is very, very nice. Now, each bank has an on off functionality, a solo and a master with master enabled. You can see that when I tweak the threshold on the first slot, it controls the threshold or peak reduction of all of the modules in the other slots. If I do it just for the individual one away from the master module, it just tweaks that one. Very, very cool. However, you want to hear how this thing sounds. So I have a drum track back here. Let me bypass everything so far. my usual kit and caboodle of microphones. So let's first of all start off with some presets because they're a good place to start. Uh, let's go to some drums and drum bus. Here we go. Bypassed first and then we'll kick it in. Now there's quite a lot of bass on this one, so I can just pull the gain back on the bass channel. So if I want to hear what's going on with each of the modules, I just hit the solo button. And then I can move the frequency if I want to affect more or less of the spectrum. I like that. Really, really nice. Let's run through some of these other presets. Now, of course, you don't have to use different modules in each slot. You can use the same ones. Let's take control of the master. And if we want to swap out one or two modules, we can do. So hit target. And let's go for something a bit less brutal on the front end. Let's 
Let's try one more preset. Uh, let's go for Fat Kick 2. A lot of work going on with the kick. Not that much in that mid range. I really like this thing because it makes what is quite a complicated subject that multiband compression. It makes it really easy. It makes it very visual um, and you can see exactly what's going on, exactly how much gain reduction you're hitting each of the, the four bands with. I think this is one of the best multiband compressor plugins available because it keeps things simple. We have each of these modules, which we all know from previous DSP plugins and kind of adding them up together into a multiband compressor is really nice and actually a really kind of sensible thing to do. Of course, we've got other controls in there. We can change the slope of the crossovers. We've got input and output controls. We've got polarity controls. But the best thing about this thing is you can get in there really quick, get down and dirty, twisting some knobs and listening to the effects that the different compression bands are having. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very quick look at the rather lovely new 6034 Ultimate Multiband Compressor from McDSP. My name's James Ivey, and I will see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.